When the Cenozoic started, there were no deer, or cattle, or giraffes, or sheep, or goats, none of these things. Instead, there were the condylarths. We represented up to 70% of many of the fossil mammals in early fossil sites, and it was from we primitive condylarths that the even-toed artiodactyls such as deer and cows and goats and the odd-toed parasodactyls such as rhinos and horses would evolve later in the Cenozoic era. So we condylarths, we were the ancestors of the big herbivorous mammals alive today. Hello, I am a rhino, don't you know? Now, you might not look, know to look at me if you're looking for the horn, but not all rhinos had horns, don't you know? Some were the size of elephants, and I was even taller, more than 20 feet tall at the shoulder, don't you know, an endricothere, the largest terrestrial mammal in history. So we rhinos were quite diverse, as were our cousins, the brontotheres. Many of them also had horns, although in the brontotheres they were made of bone, unlike that of the rhinos, which are made of keratin, don't you know? I am a horse, but not a horse like the horses of today. I had three toes, as did most of the horses of the Cenozoic era. We started off fairly small, cat-sized even, and most of the horses of the Cenozoic were considerably smaller than those alive today. Very slowly did we develop the grazing teeth for eating grass, and many horses were browsing horses whose teeth were adapted for eating leaves. So, the horses of today, those large one-toed animals, evolved very slowly through a long series of intermediate stages. 